I'm Sophia Hupolo, and I'm a second year Pratt Fellow in Josh Gordon's lab in NINDS. And my research is to identify the neurobiological bases of cognitive deficits in schizophrenia using animal models. Now, schizophrenia is polygenic, meaning that mutations in multiple different genes contribute to disease risk. Um, however, deficits in working memory are ubiquitous symptoms for which there are currently no FDA-approved treatments. And so to study how brain circuits that promote healthy cognitive functioning uh, become maladaptive, our field has developed lines of transgenic mice that carry mutations in different schizophrenia risk genes. And so one prominent and well-studied model of genetic susceptibility to schizophrenia recapitulates the 22Q11 deletion syndrome pictured in the genes panel on your left. And from this model, we know that working memory deficits in the 22Q11 deletion mice are associated with a disconnection between key cognition modulating brain regions, such as the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus. And those are denoted in the circuits panel in the middle. Meanwhile, uh, reconnecting these brain regions is associated with the reversal of working memory deficits seen in these mice. And so to study whether other schizophrenia risk genes are associated with similar patterns of uh, behavioral and neural circuit abnormalities, my current research is investigating uh, the effects of a heterozygous knockout in another schizophrenia risk gene called SETD1A. SETD1A is an epigenetic regulator that uh, controls many aspects of cell function, and mice carrying this mutation have less elaborate dendritic branching, as you can see in the cells panel in the middle. And so um, we're, I'm also currently training these animals to perform in a T-maze apparatus that's designed to assess spatial working memory in mice pictured in the cognition panel. And so to measure the strength of communication between the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus and the thalamic nucleus reunions as the animals are performing the spatial working memory task, we're recording local field potentials from these brain regions and quantifying how synchronized they are. And so, um, in summary, if we, can, if we can determine whether different schizophrenia risk genes are associated with similar patterns of behavioral and neural circuit abnormalities, this might suggest that any single treatment that can reverse these deficits um, may be used uniformly to treat schizophrenia cases. But if not, uh, we may need to develop more targeted approaches. But regardless, um, having multiple models of genetic susceptibility to schizophrenia can help us better understand how different genetic mutations lead to the function of cell circuits and cognition. Thank you.